Hi. I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. And it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Cancer. The waxing gibbous moon is one phase away from a full moon. I call it the re-phase. The waxing gibbous moon is the re-phase where we start to re-evaluate, to review, to readjust, to redirect. Things begin to heat up because of the full moon coming in. We become more serious about our intentions. Yeah, we start to look at where we've been causing excuses. Sorry for the noise. Um, okay. So yeah, under a waxing gibbous moon, you may mm, start to become more serious and put forward more effort and um, prepare to really put things in place to go after that goal that you set a long time ago. This is, these are things that we know should have happened, should have taken place, should have transpired, but for some reason they didn't. Okay, spirit. What is the message today for us under this waxing gibbous moon and cancer, Holy Spirit? Reflection closed off. Well, that past row definitely sums up why we are here, right? We're all here to do some shadow work, to work on ourselves, improve ourselves. Mm, look at this. <laughs> okay. Let's get a future spread here, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the message for this waxing gibbous moon? Um, mm. Okay, looks like all of these are in the view. You know I'm always adjusting my cards, right? <laughs> Hot mess, okay. Yeah, that looks so much better. Oh, now it's too far, right? Okay. All right, so yeah, the first card, past energy, is shadow work. Um, so searching ourselves and identifying the situation that we're in and whether or not we want to stay there and what we need to do to move forward. Exactly kind of what I was feeling after self-assessment, reviewing where we are versus where we want to be and taking some accountability for us not being where we want to be, Moody. Yes, that's soul searching, going deep, being introspective, right? Mm-hmm. So, I think until that it actually is successfully completed, there is a blockage, right? There is our inability to move forward, to we keep repeating the same actions expecting different results spirit just said okay that's what's throwing us off balance for some it's also bringing us karma you know we accumulate karma every day by what we do and what we don't do how we use our time we accumulate karma based on that and so um this is a time 
that everything that you've gone through in the past is going to determine your karma. It's also going to encourage you to change, to step out on faith, to do something different under this waxing givis moon after you reassess, reevaluate, review, redirect, readjust your plan. You realize you need to get moving. <laughs> You better get to step in, Moody. You got to get moving. You need to make more progress if you want to see better results by spring. Spring is right around the corner, right? That's like next month, April. So we're at the beginning of March. So uh, we want to be opened up. We don't want to be closed off, right? We want to be experiencing a change for, from how we came into last month yes spirit just said these are some promises that we made last month last year and still we're trying to see some change by spring now some of you actually have a hold on that because you've been putting forward the work and so you're ready to experience this change it could involve a partner you know, it could involve your family, your friends, work. It could involve a whole host of things. But change is what is happening this March. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and this waxing gibbous moon really allows us to take a deep dive, truthful look at the part we're playing in us. Like if we're creating the blockages because we're resisting what spirit is telling us, what our intuition is telling us, what the bad situation continues to tell us, whatever it is that's motivating you, causing you to change, you're being guided, spiritually led, right? So that you have the courage, the confidence to move out of a situation that no longer serves you. And, and you're doing this. Some of you are actually doing this. You, you've planted the seeds. You're seeing it start to take hold. You're seeing growth now. There's the seven of pentacles, right? Right. And you're communicating good, confident, knowledgeable um, information that you've had time to review and to make adjustments to, right? You're feeling confident now because you're on the move there's travel you're receiving communication you're to you're also feeding yourself good communication your thoughts are telling you you can do this you can walk away you can handle this matter of fact you can do this by spring um you're, you're at the seven of pentacles you're only three away whatever it calls for if it's external people around you situations around you then you know that you, it's time to move if it's internal then we also know that because you opened up with shadow work we open up with shadow work searching for what it is the knowledge we need to obtain to grow to change our life especially when um, we're closed off for whatever reason right there's defensiveness, there's a fight, there's a resistance. Yeah, but that, so that's the personal change, right? And then once we review that, Moody, you look at your external, people you hang out with, situations you can't control. You may not be able to control the external, but you certainly can control the internal. Look at this person. Yeah, I find that we are all going to be grateful, abundant, um, by thinking positive thoughts, right? Feeding ourselves communication that reaffirms where we're headed. The waxing gibbous moon gets us prepared to continue to walk towards what it is we want, right? Continue to evaluate, reassess. Um, review, readjust, redirect so that we leave situations and people that no longer st 
serve us strong enough, courageous enough, confident enough to attract what it is that you want. So for some of you, it's a family, a marriage, um, commitment, a home, a house. For others of you, it's just what you love to do. Something more in tune with your calling makes your heart sing. Some of you want more creative things. You're focusing more on desires of your heart. And that's why spirit always wants you to keep your heart open. That's what's going to ensure your balance. Cleaning your house, looking at external situations that no longer serve you and moving away, having the courage and confidence to move and then feeling grateful for where you find yourself. Wow. I love it. What else, Spirit? Let's qualify. Qualify shadow work, closed off in karma, balance, justice, Holy Spirit. Mm. Okay. Death reverse, resisting. That's resisting an ending. Uh, time to move on, a change. Um, not going deep enough, not being introspective enough. You know, everything starts and stops with us, Moody. Sure does, Mother of Pentacles. Yeah. Being resourceful. Um, Mother of Pentacles is a responsible person. They do what they have to do um, because they take care of business. You know, a lot of mothers run households and... Um, it's very hard to shuck your responsibilities as a mother. So um, they, they multitask. Look at all this mother female energy. And males, let me tell you something. You carry female energy too, right? Males carry female as well as male energy. We all do, right? We all carry both sexes. There is no sex in gender. So we all feel the same feelings, go through the same obstacles, challenges, happiness, joy, etc. But a mother's love, we all know that that's different. So you have a mother of pentacles and a mother of swords. And I feel like, you know, the, somebody is being responsible, right? Okay, spirit, they're being responsible. It's like they're owning up to why things have not progressed in the past, right? With the death reverse. It's like you don't want it to end. You're not... Um, going along with the program. Somebody or something is controlling this change. And now you, me, we take responsibility for where we are. The mother of Pentacle owns up to the situation and sees things clearly. What she needs to do, he needs to do to move towards that situation, pick up their family, get a new place, get a new job, put forward the effort, the action to be protective. And you know something? This mother of pentacles and mother of swords is also cancer, right? And today it's a waxing gibbous moon in cancer because cancer is kind of very motherly, very loving. You know, they're family oriented, they're homebodies. And so they're also businessmen and women. They take care of business. And so I see this waxing gibbous moon we're stepping up. We're doing what we have to do. We see things clearly, you know, cool, calm, and collective. Look at this mother of swords just perched on her sword, but um, the sword is down, you know, very keen, very aware. The sword is down. So March brings into us some knowledge here mm. of taking responsibility for our current situation and doing what we have to do to move it forward. Yeah, yeah. Father of Pentacles, look at that. Some of you may have to take uh, somebody to court. Could be um, the Mother of Pentacles or the Father of Pentacles. There may be a court situation. Um, you may be going through some karma with your spouse or whoever you cohabitate with could have something to do with the kids. You got to weigh things out. You have to look at the cause and effect. If I do this, then that will impact that. 
but none of that should stop you from moving forward. The death card is a major arcana here, and um, that means spirit wants it to be over. It needs to be over. You know that. You came into this reading knowing this, but there's resistance, um, but that doesn't mean that um, that's going to last forever. Look, that's why you have the mother of swords and pentacles. Uh -huh. Fathers are also weighing their situation, you know, um, deciding, making decisions about their foundation, where they're going to lay their head, where they're going to invest. Mm. So a lot of that is going on. Clarify, change, and courage. Is it a job? Look at that. Yeah, this is because past relationships just didn't work out. But again, you have a major arcana here, so it's time for it to end. Okay, spirit. <laughs> Yeah, relationships, external situations, and people. Mm -hmm. Yes, Spirit, he said pick it up. Whether it is people or actual situations that don't work out, it's just time to... That's that mother of pentacles and swords where you you know what you got to do, you know, for growth. Um it's just not part of the equation going forward. Tell me more. Yeah, so it's a motivator. I mean, this card goes with everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Three of Wands. Hmm. Don't wait until the spring to start. Start now. Start now. You've already reassessed. You know what you need to do. So put forward the new plan. Right? Mm hmm Yeah. And only make commitments to those things that bring you a higher purpose, a higher sense of self. Only commit yourself to things that bring you a higher sense of health, make you wiser, challenge you in a positive way, are constructive, right? Just give your energy to people and situations that are constructive, that are challenging. Mm. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is taking action. You know, you got the Three of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Taking action... And, and handling people and situations in a way that benefits you. Yes. Mm hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Absolutely. You know, that's that not, don't give up. Don't give up. Have patience. Um, your foundation, your strategy, your. You opened up here with the Mother of Pentacles and the Father of Pentacles. So, you know, things are changing. Your commitment to people, your commitment to situations, your job situation is changing. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you, you're you changing. At the core, we have courage. You know, and it takes courage to step out and do something different, to make a change, a hard change. Life is not for the ones who can only handle the fair weather. <laughs> you step out on faith. Like Ray Charles said, every day that I go out in the street, I go out blind. And we do. The spirit is crazy. Look at this, the tower. Reverse. Something is definitely going to happen that's totally unexpected regarding your home with this cancer energy. Oof, you could trip up and meet somebody and marry them, or you could already be married and something solidifies your marriage even more, your commitment, your home, your foundation. This is all about you, your pentacles, this physical world and how you fit into it. Yes. Two of Swords, a question regarding something. Somebody has a question regarding something they want to create, something that's close to their heart, an intention that they've set, a desire in their heart. 
tell me more about this question, Holy Spirit. What's the answer? Could have something to do with this family. But you know something? Just taking care of this change, taking action with the wand, with the wands and um, putting yourself around people that challenge you, that make you grow, right? That's where it's at. And then something happens with another, a marriage, a celebration. Look at that. Three of Pentacles upright. See where you didn't have success. We don't have success when we block ourselves, Moody. Right. You allow this change to take place. You've been working on this. This is one of the things you've been working on, whether it is to leave a negative person, a situation that just is played out, you know, or a job that's just played out. Whatever it is, you have the courage. All right. That's right, Moody. You have courage, and don't forget that. You have strength. You have communicate these positive, affirmative thoughts every day. Look yourself in the mirror and communicate that you are changing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Feel the gratitude, the abundance. That's right. And you're attracting then. You're attracting other people to you. In that, you could find... Your marriage strengthening, um, your home becoming stronger, that things work out with the kids. You two want to, you, whoever, you want to be around your family. And some of you have questions regarding something about self, an intention you set for yourself that involves you being creative, I feel. This is, um, <clears throat> Yeah, something your heart's been telling you to do, but you can't make a decision on it. Tell me, Lauren. Qualify that. Ace of Cups. Listen to your heart. <laughs> and I saw the Strength card, but neither dropped. Okay. You have the Strength. Look at you. You're already walking away from relationships and situations or you know that's what you need to do and you're doing it yeah by spring i see it done so you don't think that others are going to be in agreement with what you want to do and that's why you're kind of hesitant on manifesting what it is you want expanding into what you want Mm. But you know something, this is, remember we saw the Ace of Cups, this is about self-love, about you, all about you. Forget others, right? Because right now, this is about you, all about you, self-love, creation, your intentions, focusing on the desires of your heart. You're indecisive because of what others think, um, excuse me self-love ace of cups that's what the end of march definitely tells you you're in pluto by then pluto in the sign of aquarius it's definitely to keep the reality on you remember also i said you can't control this external but you can control the internal which is you if it makes your heart sing if your intuition is telling you go for this you know focus on it well this is a time to refocus forget what others say make a decision just make a decision to refocus on it give it more of your time just start with that mm. and watch things blossom so that's what i have for you today if you could identify with the message like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment tell me what you could resonate with thank you so much for stopping by the channel for those of you who have subscribed for those of you who haven't listen for the other readings for the signs in your birth chart and until the next moon phase namaste